Hi everyone, Cynthia Beasley here in the First Alert News Center. We are taking a look at today's top stories online. Starting off with our fifth story today, police are looking for another teenager in connection with the fatal shooting that killed a 14 year old in Augusta Tuesday. This is video of the scene there at an apartment complex, but this is the second killing of a 14 year old in the central Savannah River area, also called the CSRA, in just a few days. You can see quite the law enforcement presence there when they found the teenager shot. The suspect was identified as Darian Tanksley, who deputies say is now wanted on an active warrant for murder. All right, and moving on to our next story today, we're learning more about the suspect accused of shooting and killing four law enforcement officers during a gunfight Monday in Charlotte. Court records show this man has an extensive criminal history in North Carolina. Terry Clark Hughes Jr. has been arrested dozens of times. Our sister station, WBTV, their investigation is now raising questions about some of Hughes's more recent criminal cases, which were dismissed or pending for years in Mecklenburg, Person, and Alamance counties. WBTV, our sister station, again, requested a comment from all three district attorney's offices regarding the outcome of those cases. None of the offices provided an on-record statement explaining the reason for dismissal. The district attorney in Person County, though, did tell WBTV his office was closed because of the death of a colleague, but said they would respond Wednesday. So we, of course, can expect a lot of updates in this story. Moving on in Charleston, a fight broke out between parents at a children's basketball tournament Sunday. You're looking at the video right here. You can see parents there throwing punches and referees trying to break it up, blowing whistles and trying to break up that fight. So this whole situation right now raising a lot of questions about why there weren't security officers there who could have broken up that fight instead of those referees and other parents getting involved. Well, the North Charleston Police Department said that when officers got there, the crowd had already broken up, so they did not arrest anyone. The city of North Charleston said whoever rents out that athletic center is responsible for providing security. At WIS News 10, we're up to get you going. So you're on time every time. With your first alert for breaking backups and trouble spots. We're getting a live look here at I-26 and bring you all the latest updates right here. Without letting the weather slow you down. We've got the first alert weather day here. Have your umbrellas at the ready. More updates. We're following an incident this morning. We are going to continue to monitor those here. More up to date. Be on time every time. Sunrise on WIS. Up to get you going. All right, and taking a look now at our second story on our website today. This is a story that we've been talking about for a while out of Orangeburg County. A 19 year old was killed, several injured in an after prom party near Santee. The Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office says the victim, Harrison Rollins, was shot. While a 16 year old suspect has been identified, officials say they have not been arrested. Investigators say there was a mix of adults and teenagers at what they're calling this unofficial after prom party on Antioch Road. They also said that alcohol was involved. An official with the sheriff's office said the mother in this situation trying to create a safe space for teens to celebrate after the Lake Marion High School prom. An incident report said the mother told deputies she threw the party so the teenagers would not be in the streets. And our top story online today is still one that we're trying to get a lot of answers in. The Banberg County Sheriff's Office is looking for a missing 25 year old after they say she sent concerning text to a friend. And now her family is hoping the sight of a dead body found in Banberg County is not her. So on Tuesdays, deputies say they found a burned vehicle that appeared to have human remains. An autopsy of the remains is scheduled for Thursday. The coroner said that could take five to seven days to get an identification to see who was killed. On Thursday, the Bamberg County Sheriff's Office says Megan Bodiford was last seen in Denmark. Investigators say a friend told deputies that Bodiford said she was worried her boyfriend may kill her. The Bamberg County Sheriff's Office is asking if you have any information on where she could be to call them. That number 803-245. 3,000. Meanwhile, her family is still waiting on word from law enforcement and hoping that that body found is not hers. So those are our top stories today. To read all these stories in full and to read even more on our website, go to WISTV.com. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a good one.